Hi guys, it's Natalie. Welcome back. Today I have for you a new series on my channel. It's going to be the one brand tutorial. I've been seeing it around recently on YouTube and I wanted to give it a shot and let you guys know my top favorite products from certain brands. And today is going to be all L'Oreal. Everything on my face, it's L'Oreal. As always, everything's going to be linked down below, so make sure to check that out. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't done so already and let's jump right into it. Alright, so I usually always start with primer, but I don't have any L'Oreal primers right now because I declutter most of my makeup. So I'm just going to start with foundation. This is my absolute favorite right now. As you guys know, I always mix it, but I'm just going to be using the Infallible Pro Glow today in 210. That's my winter shade or like my lighter shade. I usually am... 211 I think so I'm just going to apply this all over my face This is super long lasting and full coverage. I actually have a review on it I'll link it down below for you guys My favorite mixture is definitely applying the pro glow foundation and then setting it all with the pro matte powder from the infallible line as well As you guys know, I love this powder especially for oily skin. This is super great and also for dry skin I feel like this wouldn't really Enhance your dry patches. So definitely try these two together if you want that glowy, but still not oily look All right, so let's move on onto the actual foundation to blend it all. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal sponge I love this sponge. First of all, it's a lot bigger than your regular beauty blender It's super fluffy and soft. So it's going to be pretty gentle in your skin. Love the shape of it It has like a little pointy tip which is great to blend your concealer a little rounder Which is great to just you know blend your whole entire face and then I am also going to be using the other sponge I believe they have four sponges or three and they're all great guys. They're like really great quality I feel like for drugstore a plus so definitely check these out if you're looking for new sponges this one is good for concealer but i do love using this one for concealer and foundation let's just i like to just basically draw in my face as much product as i would want and then just blending it out with the sponge I'm going to go in with a little bit more of foundation just so it could be super full coverage what's great about this foundation is that it's blend it's buildable so if you have acne marks this is definitely going to cover it or if you want like a light layer it's also pretty good so i'm just going to set it all with the infallible pro mat i use 600 all over my face i won't be touching my under eyes too much as i will be applying concealer there in a few now for brows this is going to be a little bit hard for me because the only brow product i have is a brow pencil and i don't really like filling in my brows with brow pencils and then on top of that i always like using one specific brand for my brows i just once i find something that i like i don't really move on from it so i'm just going to try my best to fill it in with the uh, brow stylist definer pencil in dark brunette i also feel that this color may be a little bit light for me but let's just try All right, so to clean this lovely mess that we have going on, um, I'm just going to be using the True Match Concealer in Deep Medium or Medium Deep. All right, so 30 minutes later, we're moving on. For concealer, I'm using the same one, just in a lighter shade, which is called Light Medium from the True Match line. These are super full coverage and don't crease, which is my favorite part about it. The True Match line in general, like the powder and foundations were my favorite as well. To blend, I'm using the blue sponge, which is for concealer. I'm telling you guys, these sponges are a game changer in the drugstore. So good. Now, I would usually always set my under eyes with the Airspun Loose Powder, which is actually also from the drugstore. But since it is a one brand tutorial, I feel like I'm going to have to use a lighter shade of the uh, powder, the Infallible line. Hopefully this works good because I don't know. All right, so, so far so good. I do feel like I'm going to have to apply some of the Airspun Loose Powder in my nose when I'm going to contour later. All right, so let's start with the eyes. I feel like L'Oreal has one of the best eyeshadows ever. These are the infallible eyeshadows and I'm using Eternal Sunshine. And I just absolutely love this line the entire line guys so actually taking my finger I'm just going to be dabbing it right in the center of my eyes look at that this is actually also going to be my highlight by the way because I was wondering what I was going to use for highlight and I actually use this once for highlight and it's bomb all right and then for a transition color I'm using the same powder I used all over my face earlier just blending that in my crease 
so it could all look really seamlessly, you know? And then inner corner using the same shade. So I didn't know what exactly I wanted to do with my eyes, but I feel that since it is spring, we're going to be using this little quad, also from L'Oreal. So pretty, it's called Violet Amour. I'm going to take a small angled brush and use this purple shade right here. And then just applying it in the lower lash line. This is super pigmented, by the way. I think I might want to do a little bit of a smoky eye. So taking the same color with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend it right in the outer corner inward. Alright, so for liquid liner, I have a top favorite from Laura, which is the Voluminous Liner Noir. But I'm going to be trying out the new Infallible Paints in black. Alright, so to be honest, I prefer the Liner Noir, so I'm just going to top it off with this one, just because I feel like it's a little bit more pigmented than the Infallible Paints one. Moving on with mascara, I feel like L'Oreal has one of the best drugstore mascaras ever. These are my top three. I actually also love the Telescopic, I didn't bring that one as well, but the Telescopic, the Voluminous Black, Carbon Black, amazing. The Butterfly Sculpt is also a good one, and then the new green one, which is the Feline or Feline Noir. So as always, just applying tons of coats of mascara. Alright, so I went ahead and applied some falsies. I'm now going to line my waterline with one of my favorite eyeliners ever from L'Oreal, which is the Silka Seam Line. This is extremely long lasting. I absolutely love the black one. I haven't used the purple one, but since my lower lash line is purple, I decided to use the purple liner. So let's just, let's go right into it. Oh, it's so Like I mentioned, I might have to apply some loose powder in my nose just to contour better. I'm also going to apply just a little bit right here. I know it's kind of cheating, but it's drugstore, and then you could also skip it if you want to. I just prefer using loose powder in my nose area. And then to contour, I'm going to be using the Infallible Pro Matte in 700. Actually, fun fact, when I very first started applying makeup and playing with makeup, my first bronzer from the drugstore, because all my makeup back in the day was drugstore, so my first bronzer was the True Match Cocoa Powder from L'Oreal. That, till this day, is bomb. And it's not even a bronzer, I just... Well, everyone on YouTube turned it into a bronzer. Highlight, I'll be taking the infallible eyeshadow I applied earlier with this brush right here. Ooh, this is crazy. Then just removing all the loose powder. For blush, I'm using the Infallible Paint Blush Palette, which I mentioned in my last monthly favorites. This is bomb. It's a matte palette, has four beautiful shades, and it's from the drugstore and stuff. Moving on with lips, I don't really know what lip color to go for from L'Oreal. So I have three different options. They all kind of look the same. Might be going for a purple look. I don't know. I feel like it will be too much purple. Alright, so these are the colors I swatched. The first one is Jennifer's Collection from the pink line. Then we have, I believe, it's the Pro Matte. And then the Infallible Paints. And then the, uh, this is the Lilac. I think I might go for the Lilac, which is like a pinkish tone. Alright, so last but not least, just setting your face. I love the Infallible Setting Spray from L'Oreal, but I don't have it with me right now. I actually just ran out. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Setting Spray, which is also from the drugstore. So here is the finished look using one brand, all drugstore products. I hope you guys are enjoying this new little series on my channel. Let me know in the comments below what brand you want to see in the next one brand tutorial. And see you next time. Bye! Well, it's going away, so. Alright, um, 30 minutes later, using the... We're done. We're done with that part. Should I?